Hold. Jai Satguru Dev. Bhakti Gyan Vairagya Jo Tino Puran Hoi Tab Prabhu Ki Uplakti Hai Aashrit Sat Guru Soi Jai Satguru Dev. I bow down to the lotus petal of Master of Meditation Sadguru Sadafal Devji Maharaj to bless and grace today's session and guide each one of us in our respective spiritual awakening and help us remain connected to the supreme power, the highest authority at all times. Good morning, good afternoon, good evening to one and all. Jai Sadguru Dev. This is Dipali Sarav, and I once again feel honored and humbled to welcome each one of you in the online global meditation challenge series, day 25. By now, you all must be aware of Vihangam Yoga meditation challenge and how Vihangam Yoga team around the globe and specifically Vihangam team from Singapore is making this event even more exciting and challenging by coming up with various events for healthy, mind and a healthy body. Coming up to today's agenda, as we all can see on the screen displayed, to begin with, we have a very short welcome note and introduction about the Hangam Yoga. Followed by this, there will be Swagat Gan and Mangal Gan, that is a holy prayer to seek blessings from the masters, the Sadguru, Sadafal Dev Ji Maharaj, and then there will be another energetic power packed session by our guest of honor, Nivedita Garodia Ji. And I'm sure you all must be very excited around the globe to get some nice uh, tips and tricks how to keep your cervical and the back pains away from your body. And followed by it, there will be a vote of thanks and also, please, please prepare for the question and answer sessions where you get the direct opportunity to be live and get benefited by asking and clarifying any doubts which you have during the course of session about the positions or any other health related which Nivedita ji will be very uh, kindly dealing with and helping us out in those queries. And at the end, the session comes to the end by bowing down again to the feet of masters of meditation by a short shanti part, and that will lead to the closing of our event for today. Coming up to Vihangam Yoga introduction, for those who are not aware of Vihangam Yoga, please allow me to introduce a bit about it. Vihangam Yoga Organization is an NGO, a pioneer in yoga and advanced meditation training for the upliftment of the human lives in all aspects. The Vihangam Yoga Organization was established in the year 1924 by His Holiness Sadguru Sadafal Dev Ji Maharaj, who discovered this wonderful meditation technique after 17 years of strenuous meditation practice. Today, under the guidance of the present Sadguru, His Holiness, Sri Sadguru Swatantra Dev Ji Maharaj, Vihangam Yoga has reached around more than 45 countries and has transformed lives of more than 5 million disciples around the globe. Our international headquarters is situated on the bank of the holy river called Ganges in Prayagraj, Allahabad, that is India. Vihangam Yoga is also affiliated member of United Nations Economic and Social Development. While we all are connected from around the globe for this Global Meditation Challenge Series Day 25, I feel pride and thankful to share that the largest center of Vihangam Yoga is being constructed under the name of Swarvet Mahamandir situated in Varanasi, Uttar Pradesh, India, where around 
20,000 spiritual seekers can sit together and meditate. I, on behalf of Vihangam Yo Meditation Team, strongly recommend to visit this holy temple and seek the blessings and get the purest vibrations. Jai Sadhguru Dev. Now, I kindly invite pra Ji Pandeji to please come up and seek blessings from Sadhguru in the form of Swagat Gan and Mangal Gan. Over to you, Prachi Pandeji. Thank you, Swagat Gan. आज स्वागत नित्य गुरुवर आगम आध्यात्म विद्या दिव्य ज्योति सोमरस बरसाई दोष दूर गुण दूर करी के शुद्ध हंस बनाई भेद गम गति ज्ञान गर जन श द्वार हटाइए खुले द्वारा शब्द सागर भक्त जन हनवाइए जन स आज स्वागत नित्य गुरुवर संत शुभागम आई मंगल गान ईश्व शांति नाम मंगल परम गुरु को क्या शांति दूर कर भाव भेद मिटाई सार्वभौम समि सता ध्यात्म राज बनाई पेश भाषा भाव जग मै ज्ञान पर दर्शाई समृद्धि सुख शांति धरातल स्वर्ग भूमि बनाई विश्व शिक्षक जन सदाफल नीति स्वर अपनाई विश्व शांति नाम मंगल परम गुरु को जय सतगुरुदेव ओवर टू यू दीपाली जी जय सतगुरुदेव थैंक यू सो मच प्राची पांडे जी फॉर प्रेजेंटिंग दिस ब्यूटिफुल सॉन्ग एंड हेल्पिंग अस टू गेट मोर मोटिवेटेड एंड फोकस फॉर दिस इवनिंग इवेंट कमिंग ओवर टू टूडेज एजेंडा for which our audiences are connected from around the globe let's all wholeheartedly welcome the guest for today nivedita garodia ji to quickly sum up all about nivedita garodia ji who is 
active member of Abhya School of Yoga. A quick sum up about it. What is Abhya School of Yoga? It is indeed the need of the hour for us to be at the peak of our mental capacity and intellectual capacity. At the same time, keeping the body fit. If the body is not fit, then the mind simply won't work that efficiently because all the energy will be going into treating the body, curing the body, and we cannot afford to do it. Abhya School of Yoga is going to impart you that level of efficiency. If you practice, if you keep yourself disciplined, it will take you to that level where you are really efficient with what you do and how you conduct yourself in your day-to-day -day lives. To take us through the same, today we have Nivedita Ji with us. Nivedita Garodia Ji has a five years of experience as a yoga teacher and she has conducted many PPC courses and she has taught over more than 2000 students around the globe. Therefore, I request each one of you who is connected today live with us, please welcome wholeheartedly the guest of today, Nivedita Garodia Ji. Over to you, ma'am, Nivedita Garodia Ji. Thank you so much. Thank you so much for giving me such an opportunity and uh, you must call everyone. So back pain and cervical is a common problem we can uh, relate, we can find in each and every uh, household and even we even suffer with back pain and cervical. So I will be giving you some stretches. We will be, we will be going in some yoga poses and stretches where you can find ease and uh, relaxation and you can regularly practice those asanas and you can regularly keep on practicing this sequence for at least coming 15, 21 days. So it will recover, the back pain will recover. And I'll uh, mention the single reason for the back pain and so but not single reason, there are various reasons again, how you stand, how you sit, how you do your work, your sedentary lifestyle depends upon your postures, how you generally eat or sleep those things are actually important to be take care of to be noticed and to be conscious of so i request everyone it's not about a yoga sequence but it's uh, it's not about a class where you can find a solution for the back pain it's about your lifestyle how you change your lifestyle and how you inculcate and uh, take good one step ahead for your own body for your own life so for back pain, I will recommend you to always, uh, if uh, somebody having back pain right now, currently or cervical, any other issues related to spine or other back issues, they can always use some kind of pillow, a block, any kind of uh, blanket under your buttocks or whenever you need it. So and always don't force your don't force your body. Listen to your body and use some kind of props if you have to get your home and go accordingly. So let's start with our session. So we'll start with a few breathing here. Breathing actually helps to open up your back muscles and your chest muscles. You can sit in a, any comfortable cross leg position or on the block. And currently I'm sitting on the block that helps to keep your spine elevated, to keep your spine lifted. So you, if you having any problems related back and so back. use block or a blanket or any pillow under your buttocks. Keep your knees drop down and put your hands on your knees. Relax your shoulders. Keep your back straight. Keep your neck and your head, your spine in one line. Slowly close your eyes. Start focusing on your breath. We'll go for three deep breath in and deep breath out. You just have to inhale. Try to hold for a few seconds, like three seconds. Exhale, hold for three seconds. That helps to breathe. That helps to provide oxygen and open up your back muscles. And try to breathe from your back muscles and your shoulder muscles for now. 
and always remember when you are doing asanas or when you are practicing any sub kind of practices or when you are even walking or something doing something always use your abdomen muscles to breathe don't forget to breathe from your abdomen so we'll start with inhale take a deep breath in from your abdomen and your back muscles exhale out completely inhale deeply exhale complete again inhale deeply exhale complete maintaining the same consciousness the same breathing throughout your whole session throughout your whole Asanas and prana practice. With that, we'll start opening your open your eyes. We'll start with few stretches. So be here in a sukhasan cross leg position. Take your both arms out. Turn your palms upward. Inhale. Raise your both hands up. Interlock your fingers. Stretch your interlock up. Try to breathe. Open your chest. You can look up or keep your neck straight. If you have any neck pain or cervical or shoulder pain, you can keep your neck straight. Stretch your back, stretch your chest, breathe and hold. Slowly exhale, release your arms down. Inhale, raise your both hands up again. Interlock your fingers, turn your interlock up. Try to stretch your interlock to the right side. Look towards your left. Try to breathe from your left rib cage. Stretch your side rectal muscles and your waist muscles. Breathe and hold. Inhale, center. Exhale, stretch yourself to the left side. Try to breathe from your side, rib cage up to right. Keep your vision to the right. Stretch and hold. This stretching helps you to open your side waist, your back muscles, strengthen your back muscles. Also keep your neck and your shoulders strong. Inhale, center. Open your arms. Drop your right hand. Right elbow on the floor, left hand to the right side. Look at your palm. Keep your neck relaxed. Breathe and hold. Inhale, come to the center. Exhale, drop the left palm, left and water palm. Right hand to the left side. Breathe in. Open your chest. Look at your palm and elbow. Feel the stretches on the side waist of your right. Inhale. Slowly come to the center. Interlock the fingers. Stretch your interlock back. Put your interlock down on the floor. Open your chest, look up, arch your back. You can keep your neck forward if you have any neck pain or cervical. Exhale slowly. Lend your spine down, head down, put your head to the floor. Keep your interlock up. Inhale, chin up, chest up, slowly release your interlock down. Now we'll go for twisting. Twisting is the most important thing which you can do when you have a back pain and 
to relieve your back pain and of if you don't have any back pain or any kind of go for twisting every morning when you wake up go for the twisting like simple twisting helps you to keep your spine healthy gives you good memory it gives you good sensation and keep your spine strong with all your muscles so we'll go for twisting what you have to do take your right hand to the left knee left hand at the back you have to inhale first and exhale try to twist completely look back exhale forward. you have to twist from your spine your abdominal muscles your chest one more exhale twist completely slowly inhale stand up Now take your left palm to the right knee, right hand at the back. First, you inhale into the center and exhale. Try to twist, open the chest. Exhale, twist completely back and move. Try to twist from your abdominal muscles, your chest muscles, your shoulders, and your spine. Hold. Inhale, center, release your arms. Now interlock your fingers at the back of your neck. First, we'll go for exhale. You have to take your chin to the chest, bring your elbows closer to each other. Try to hunch your back, open your back shoulder muscles. Bring your elbows closer to each other. Inhale, open your chest, look up, open your elbows, widen your arms. Breathe in, look up. Exhale, take your elbows to again to closer to each other. Round your back, chin to the chest, stretch your neck. Don't press it too much, just give a little press, not much. That helps to keep your cervical part healthy. Inhale, open your chest, look up, chin up, chest up, breathe, and slowly center, relax. From here, take your right hand to the right side, keep your right elbow straight. Your left palm will be to the right side of your face. You have to start taking your Right, left ear to the left shoulder. Try to stretch your neck to the left side. Don't press it too much or don't give it pressure on your head like this. Keep it soft, naturally. Let it go down. Try to keep your right hand stretched to the right side and breathe and hold. Inhaling, come to the center. Release your palm. Slowly take your left, right hand to the left side of your face. Gentle and soft press with that. Slowly stretch your neck to the right side. Bow to the center. Release your hands down. From here, keep your hands on your knees. Start rotating your shoulders. Roll your shoulders. For cervical pain, shoulders are the important points. Roll your shoulders for five, four, three, two, one, and the clock. Five, four, three, Two and one. Relax. Now from here you have to look to the right. Keep your chin to the right shoulder, parallel to the right shoulder. To the left. To the right. Left. 
take it into the left right side of the corner bone diagonally 45 degree down center chin to the left side of the corner bone diagonally 45 degree down not completely here to the center of your chest and your shoulder again chin to the corner bone to the left side and center from here release now we've done on your all fours you have to come on your knees and on your arms keep your knees apart keep your toes flat your wrist under your shoulder level all your fingers of your palms spread out make sure you're using yoga mat or some sort of soft or no stick material under your feet or on for your knees and on your wrist so that you're not harm with that inhale lift your chin and chest up arch your back and then you will take the chin to the chest on your back Inhale, chin up, chest up, heart to heart. And exhale, take the chin to the chest, punch your back, round up your shoulders with that, try to squeeze and exhale out here. This helps to release your back muscles, give a good stretch and massage. Also, Release your back, so less. Chin in, chin up, chest up, arch your back. Exhale, chin to the chest, palm to the back. Come to the neutral position. From here. You start lifting your right leg up, point your toe. Take your right knee to the right elbow or to the head. This movement helps to keep your lower body, your glutes, and your quadriceps spread. Especially when you're having back pain or because of sitting a lot on the desk, on the chair, on the couches, not using your lower body. You must strengthen your lower body so that your back does not take load of whole weight. So this is very helpful for your lower body strength. And the last six, five, four, three. Drop your right leg down, relax. Now we come to the left side. Those who are having any problem with their knee or some problems in your hip joint, they can stop there to the left with that bend your knee to the head. Exhale on completely for coming in six. Five, always remember. Keep your back strong, you keep your back healthy, always keep your lower body healthy, lower body strength. Four, three, keep on moving your legs. Start walking at least for 15 to 20 minutes a day. Two, and drop it down one. From here, what you have to do, just watch, keep your left hand into the center. Right hand up. Open your chest, look up. Slowly taking your right hand out of your left side, drop your left shoulder or right shoulder, and your hand lift your left hand up. This is the best twisting for your whole spine, your neck, and best way to relax and best asking for your survival and back pain. Again, I'm showing you have to take your right hand from your left side. Drop your shoulder and your head, lift your left hand up. 
Now, try to open your chest. Breathe. Hold here for six, five, four, three, two, exhale. Come to the center again. Now inhale to the left side, now open your chest, look up first. And exhale, take the left hand, left palm, left shoulder down, right hand up. Open your chest to the left side, twist and hold. For six, five, four, three, Exhale. Now bring your knees together. Bring your feet together. Walk your palms to the front edges of the mat or to the front. Try to just slowly drop your chin or your chest down. Keep your hips up. Come to the puppy stretch. Hold it up. Very good for your spine. Stretch, breathe, and hold. You can be on your chin, you can be on your head. Try to press your palms, open your armpit, your shoulder muscles, and back. Open your chest. Breathe. Inhale, from your chin up, chest up, bring your palms close to your body again. Now slowly take a chin forward to the edge of the mat. You just have to drop the chin and chest again now. Make sure your hips are up, arching your back, holding with a flush down your shoulder. I hope you have all has done this pose before in your It helps to keep a good stretch move. So arching the back that helps to reduce your lower back. Inhale. Slowly drop that arch, drop that hips. Without pressing your palms much, just lift your chin and chest slightly up by using by not using your palms. Just use your chest muscles and back. Hold it up. Keep your feet and your knees drop down. Knees together, feet together. Hold. Keep your elbows closing. And hold for six. Use your back strength, back muscles. Five. Four, three, and the gym last week. Two, stay one. Drop the head down, and you can make the palms, uh, make a cross with the both palms, rest your head on the palms, keep your feet wide into the V shape, relax into the Makarasa. Again, you can go deep, go down, so for the relaxation of your back. Keep your feet in the ratio of the knee pointing in and toes pointing out. So deep breath in, break out, hold it up. From here, slowly bring your feet again close to each other. Place your both palms under your thighs. Your palms are facing up to the thighs of the floor and your feet and knees together. Support your leg. Come on, your chin. So you go for shell body to spread your lower back and your root muscle. Lift your right leg up, point your foot, one leg shell body to the right side. Hold. Six. Five. Four, three, two, drop it down. Now lift your left leg up, point your foot, tighten up your knee, keep your knee straight, keep your chin on the floor, breathe and hold. Six, five, four, three, two, and drop it down. Bring your feet, bring your hands together, keep your 
काउंट्स दे रहा है प्रॉपर्टी जो लिफ्ट के बोर्ड में एक्सपीरियंस कर रहा है लिफ्टिंग एमपीजी में बटर स्पेस बटर साइड बैक स्पेस ई स्पेस फोर उस जो कैन नॉट बी कैन मार्क फॉर वन लाइक एट द एंड लास्ट फॉर सिक्स Three, two, 
drop it in, just drop that leg, it stands down, relax. One. You can shake your body. The next is back bending. Back bending is the recommendation for recommended for those who are back pain that likes to spread the back. So keep your feet apart. Hands on your waist, elbows will be pointing back. With that, so we can lift your chin and chest, arch in your back, lift up, go back, and so just again. And remember, those who have any vertigo and this uh, problem in sinus problem or tinnitus problem, they should avoid BP, low BP, they should avoid this type of thing. Others can go for holding for six, five, Four, three, two, and with that interlock your fingers, stretch your interlock and then exhale. Go for the forward bend from the head down. Keep your interlock stretched down to the floor. And four, and six, five. Four, three, two, and inhale, chin up, chest up, stand up on your front, relax. Bring your feet together, knees together. Raise your right hand up, draw your right palm up. Exhale, take your right hand to the left side, relax your left hand. Or the little teacher class will try to stretch. Your side face of your right, keep your elbows straight, keep your neck soft, bring it and hold. Last six, five, four, three, two, and one. Center, drop your right hand, lift your left palm up. Exhale, stretch your left hand to the right side, that will be the right hand moves, keep your neck soft, try to stretch your side base of the neck, open your chest, breathe and go to six, five, four, three, two, one, drop your right hand. Sorry, let me draw a look. These are the few stretches and things like that and your standing part asks, which helps you to strengthen and give a good relaxation to your back. From here, we learn one asana again, one more asana only in the standing part. We have, we have uh, limited time to learn only one asana. So wider your feet, according to your height, three to three and a half feet out. You draw your right foot out to the 49 degree. You turn your left foot in to the 45 degree. You can keep your minimum uh, maximum, uh, keep your minimum distance if you want. You can go, go right as much. Then open your arms according to your shoulder level. You have to deep to the right side, left to the right side, and then exhale. Left to the right and exhale without forward bend, without going forward side and just bend. Open your chest, look up. And keep your right hand on your knee, on your shin bone, on your ankle, or on your toe. Or you can use one block and then hold. Six, five, four, three, two, one. Same, turn your right foot in, left foot out for the time you need. Keep your pelvis in center, bend your spine, exhale. Take your left hand on the floor, right hand up, open your chest, look up, breathe, line the body. Six, five, four, three, Two and one center, drop your hands down. Bring your feet close, relax. So 
So this was a stagnant part. Now we go for some sipping acid again. Few sitting stretches and twisting that helps to keep your spine strength and helps to release your back pain. So you straighten up your both feet forward and then slowly bend your right knee. You can keep your right foot tight comes with your left knee. Just make sure to keep your left leg straight. Right palm behind your back. Lift your left hand up. Try to take your left shoulder to the knee. If you cannot, put your palm on the knee and try to twist. Put your elbow also. You can do well. Keep your elbow twist and look back. Walk the rasp. Best twisting, best asana, sitting asana for spiral. Three. Two and one. Inhale, let your left knee back to the same back side. Straighten up your right leg. Bend your left knee. Inhale, lift your right hand up. Exhale, fix your shoulder, your elbow, or your palm to the knee. Exhale, twist and hold. Time to exhale and twist. Last three. Two and one. Inhale, take your right hand back again. Slowly straighten up your left leg forward. Slightly bend your knee, hug your thighs, and then roll yourself back on your spine. Come to the spine position. The best way to get it, lie down and get down on the floor. This is how we ending. We are ending with some supine postures, the nine postures which we can end and relax and calm down. So, so first we'll start with keep your feet or your feet and ankles close with your hips. Make sure your feet are apart, your knees are apart. You can grab your ankles or you can place your palms by the side of your both feet. Now by pressing your feet and your shoulders, lift your pelvic up, squeeze your buttocks. And exhale down. This practice helps to strengthen your parts and your lower back. Plus, your glute muscles are tight. And inhale up. Exhale down. Continue for three more rounds. And inhale up. And exhale down. Two more. Inhale up, exhale down. This is again one of the best for back pain. And those who don't have, it keeps you away from back pain. Start doing it today from today. And down. Uh, the last one we hold for three counts. With that inhale, lift up, roll your shoulders, press the foot, look up, uh, chin to the chest, and hold three. Two and one. Good job. Exhale. Drop your hips. Feet your back down. Slowly exhale. Drop it down. Now bend your knee. Grab your knees. Not your complete legs. Grab your knees. Start moving your knees forward and back. Just a good massage and relaxation to your lower back. Forward and back. Forward and back. Right side, left side, to the right side, left side, right, left, right, left. Now we'll go for full circle. It's a full circle clockwise, both knees together. Or you can apart your knees, making a full circle between both knees apart like this also. Options is yours. Just to give a but relaxation to your whole back. Whenever you're feeling spasm, or inflammation, or any back soreness, start doing this. Lie down and do this. Rotation and back side, and side like resting. It helps a lot. You don't need any third person or second person to massage your back. You just have to start moving your knees like this, rolling your knees to the right and left. The last thing, Chakra Body Partner. Open your both hands according to your shoulder level. You keep your both knees bent. We'll go for both knees twisting. 
together to the right side, take your both legs to the right side, keeping your knees bent, look towards your opposite side, don't let your shoulder and large twist to the spine. Keep on exhaling, pressing the palms for last six, five, four, three, two, palm to the center, by bringing your both knees together, back to the left side now, take your knees, to, double knees twisting, to the left side now, Keep your shoulder in the palm pressed. And then exhale, twist and hold. Six. Five. Four. Three. Two. And center. One. The last. Hug your thighs. You can take your head to the knee. Or those of you that they like for sure, like a face, you can just keep it like this and just hold it. You have to wait, see, and do for a few seconds. Best part with ending, we can do it and with this. Again, I'll show you the one more asana for the regular uh, practice. Those you can do is the this. Variation of the Vipreetha in the 90 degree. Then you keep your feet and knees straight together, keeping your palms under your back to support and just relax your core muscles. That helps you. Again, there's a good blood circulation towards your legs and your lower your upper body, and that helps you to strengthen your back. So you hold here. The mind. Eight. Seven, six, five. You can also use wall support. Keep your legs on the wall. Do it 90 degrees. Also, it's a good variation for this. Again, very good for very close pain, leg pain, knee pain, or back pain. Also, gives a good circulation, blood circulation to your upper body. Last six, five. Four, three, two, and bend your knees again, curl your thighs, release and relax. We are done for the day. Relax your legs forward. Open your legs up, open your hands up. Breathe for your three fourths. Deep breaths and then we are done. You need to just relax in the upper middle back, upper or sorry, lower back to keep a pillow or a blanket hold and keep it here where you are to just relax for the relaxation of this portion of your lumbar. Slowly with that, bend your knees together. Turn yourself to the right side. And sit up in a sukhasana position. So, a few things you want to just remember is uh, always. Uh, use of the like, props when you are practicing, if you have any problems doing your glasses, and uh, start adapting the proper manner of lifestyle, leave all your sedentary lifestyle, look at your sitting postures, sending postures, and adopt the best way and learn how to do it. And always remember don't sit for too long for the hours. Keeps you, it takes out all your energy or strength from your lower body and whole body weight comes on your lower back and your back muscles. Use your legs, use your body, your lower body. Start walking or give some activities to your body. Thank you so much, everyone. If you have any questions, you may ask them.
Thank you so much, Nivedita Ji, for such a powerful, energetic session for today. And I request all the participants from around the globe, if you have any doubts, any queries, please come up because Nivedita Garodia Ji, she is live here to clarify the doubts. I'm sure Nivedita ji, you had been such a wonderful guest for today and you have explained all the positioning, especially, you know, the breathing techniques as well as how to correct the posture. These days when we all are struggling with some type of, uh, you know, cervical pain, we have neck stiffness and rigidity and we feel dizziness and headache. It is somewhere related to the posture corrections. And also it's beneficial for all the postpartum and the prepartum ladies and uh, the old aged people, maybe some people suffering with obesity and all, I, I'm definitely sure each one of us is going to be benefited by these uh, exercises and stretches which you have shown us so clearly. It's, it's amazing though I was sitting, but I, 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 I tried to you know, copy and understand how you were doing and it's really going to help. A quick question from you, ma'am, on the same regard. What is the advice for the best time to do these asanas and stretches? It's uh, the best time for the yoga asanas or to practice these asanas is the morning time. When you wake up, empty stomach is the best time. And uh, evening also, if you have empty stomach, if you have had your food after having your food, after, after having your lunch, after three, four hours of prep, at least maximum three, four hours of gap, you can uh, practice this answers. It's best to do it in the morning or best to do empty stomach. Thank you so much, ma'am. We have a quick question from one of our uh, online participants. I kindly request, can you please unmute and come up with your question? <laughs> yes, how to cure sciatica pain? Okay, uh, sciatica pain is again connected to your lower back and to your uh, lower body. It, sciatica pain can be relieved through uh, some twisting asanas, which I have already shown in the uh, current class, our sequence. Twisting may help you and uh, also some kind of massage or to the massages to the back and to the lower body, to the knees and to the whole part. And uh, even some kind uh, some hot packs, uh, the pressure to the back and the massage is very well. Twisting also the other parikrit trikonasan helps to release the sciatica uh, pain. I'll show you the asana. At least you can just note it down, you can practice at home. Straight try to take your left hand to the right foot and right hand to the ceiling. You twist into this posture. Some twisting postures also uh, by my mom also you can help. It helps to release your sciatica. One more asana I'll show you the quick one is this one. You lift your right leg. You can use any kind of strap or a dupatta or a straw. You take it to the left side. So your right leg will be going to the left side. That helps to release. And always concerned to the doctors whenever you practice yoga asanas or always be under the guidance of yoga master or yoga teacher. Don't practice alone. Don't do it alone. It's not about online thing. Okay, thank you, ma'am. Thank you, Nivedita ji. Again, we are open for the question and answer sessions. If anyone has any doubt or something or any queries, please come up. Nivedita uh, ji, I wanted to check when in pain, do you sh uh, should you do the yoga asanas or not? Um, it, is, it is recommendable that if you have a um, strong pain, that is severe back pain or severe body pain, severe pain in your body, any kind of pain, you should not recommend it. That you should not uh, do the whole sequence, whole yoga asana classes. At least uh, few poses which are recommendable for you. Few poses, poses, asanas which are recommended for that pain, you can, you can do it. Not the whole sequence. If you're having mild or the light pain or soreness in your body, then you must move your body. Then you must move and then see that how much you are feeling, what kind of pain you have. 
then you can uh, at least judge your body that yes, you can do it or not. Otherwise, uh, severe pain problems should not be done, should not be uh, doing the class, whole class. At least two posters you can do it. Again, under the guidance. Thank you so much, ma'am. Thank you, ma'am. And there is uh, one more question. Uh, what you will recommend that generally how long and what should be the duration? Like if it should be six weeks or six months that one should follow if somebody is not under any type of restrictions from the doctors or the physiotherapists, then what will be your ideal take-off point for us to know that how long one should continue on regular basis to see the effects, to see the you know positive aspects and the results on the body? Well, I'll say yoga is not about you start and you stop. It's about how you live. Yoga is only the part of your life. It's the part of your life. You have to adapt it and you continue with that. And you will see massive changes. Keep on continuing, keep on doing that thing. It's not about the only asanas and pranayam. If we talk about asanas and pranayam too, you should at least uh, start and just watch continue start practicing at least for 21 days minimum for 21 days and keep on going don't stop it it's not about never it's never ending it will if you don't have any body problem ailments any, any disease still you need to practice are you classes that make keep your body your mental health your physical health and your emotional health keep your spiritual part also uh, onto that path and it gives you strength with that. So it's not about uh, how long we should continue, it's about everything you should do it with the part of you. What way of serving, how we connect with ourselves, how we talk, how we react, what we eat is yoga, what, how we sleep, everything, how we drink is everything is you. It's your lifestyle, you make this lifestyle. So I don't think it's about six weeks or months or uh, a uh, year you should practice and then stop it. Yoga is the part of your life. Adapt it and continue with that. And then you will see the massive change. Very well said, Nivedita Ji. Yeah, it should be like part of your routine life rather than doing it for a few months and just uh, leaving it in between. Very well said. I'm sure each one of us who has been connected from around the world have taken the benefits from Nivedita Ji and how she has guided each and every stretch and how to keep the breathing along with it. That, that is very important. And how to have a balanced lifestyle. This is what Vihangam Yoga Meditation teaches us. It is a scientifically proven method of meditation and is based on the real-time experiences of the masters of meditation. And therefore, asanas and pranayams are definitely essential to achieve our aim, our mission of stabilizing and channelizing our mind as well as our thoughts and remain in sync and get coordinated so that we have a more balanced life, more disease-free life and more healthy way of living. Thank you so much once again, Nivedita Ji. And I request all the participants to show their gratitude by cheering up with a thumbs up or some kind notes to Nivedita Ji. Ma'am, one more question. Yes, please. Yes, uh, should we do yoga during our period? Ideally, uh, we should rest while we having uh, our monthly cycle. But few poses again are recommendable if you're having any menstrual cramp, body pain, back ache, or uh, you're, you're feeling your mood is not good, you're feeling switching your moods, you should. Uh, we can go for a few asanas that are relaxing postures we say that with the relaxing postures you must go. And otherwise, uh, for the continuous three or four days, you should not do the whole sequence. The pranayam, uh, heavy asanas which are giving load on your abdomen or on your back should not be continued for the three, four days. Then after post cycles, you can continue. Pre-cycles also, you know, if you are feeling busy, if you are feeling not good, you should stop before two to three days also. It helps to keep your cycles maintained and continue with that. Heavy exercises are not recommended in your periods. Okay, thank you. Thank you so much, Nivedita Ji, for this insight. I'm sure all the uh, women here, they need this insight about it and it's going to help each one of us, whether we are 
young generation or we talk about the old age people, the asanas which are explained by you today are definitely going to help each of us for more better postures. And that's why disease free life and keep ourselves away from the, you know, orthopedics and the physiotherapist. This is all going to help each one of us. Thank you once again. Now we move to the next session of our session for today. The vote of thanks. Firstly, I wholeheartedly th being thankful to Prachi Pandeji from France for presenting the Sadhguru uh, 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 Swagat Gaan as well as Mangal Gaan. We wholeheartedly thank Nivedita ji from Abhya School of Yoga for coming up with such a wonderful, powerful patch session for cervical and lower back pains. Again, we reiterate that please meditate daily. Give a push to yourself. Meditating each time will help us to reach our goals. Try to follow the routine. Please do not forget to fill in your daily online submission forms. The 30 days meditation challenge, which has been started by Vihangam Yoga team, Singapore especially, is all about pushing a little more than usual. Please keep yourself. Uh, in case you have any questions, you can go to the Slido link on the screens, http app slido dot, and you can enter the code here and come up with your queries. And hopefully we will be able to serve you in that regard as well. There are many more exciting sessions which will be coming up during the month of uh, May. So please stay tuned for all those. And we wholeheartedly are thankful if you see your slide presentation again uh, and all the supporters and the partners who have been helpful and supportive in Vihangam Yo online meditation global challenge series. Thank you once again to each one of them. I personally feel ob very obliged and grateful for giving me this opportunity to come up and be the host and serve this noble cause. Now we move to the last segment of this session. I request Gajendra Gaurav Ji from Zek Republic to please come up with Shanti Part. Jai Sudev to all of you and thank you so much. Shanti Part. He Prabhu Shanti Swarup Ho Shanti Shanti Mai Shanti 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 Jan Shanti Ho Purn Shanti Mai Shanti He Prabhu Shanti Pradhan Kare दूर हो सर्व अशांति देव सदा फल शांति मय शांति शांति सुख शांति प्रेम से बोली तू देव भगवान की जय जय सद्गुरु देव थैंक यू सो मच गदेंद्र गौरव जी फॉर कमिंग अप विद द शांति पार्ट now in the end, as we come to the closure of today's session, day 25, I on behalf of entire Vihangam Yoga Meditation Challenge Series, wholeheartedly thankful to all the sponsors, entire Vihangam Yoga team and their family, each participant who has been with us in this journey till date, and also all the new joinees who helped to make this event even more graceful thank you each one of you and have a very blessed day ahead jay sadgurudev